Today I'm going to show you an easy way to clone yourself in Photoshop Elements. This doesn't require any knowledge of layers or stitching or anything difficult, so everybody can do this and it's a lot of fun. What I've done here is I've taken four photos and I've loaded them into uh, Photoshop Elements. They show me in different positions in our front yard. So once I do that, I go up here to New, Photo Merge, Group Shot. And since I already have the photos open, it's going to ask, um, I'm just going to click open all. Then it's going to take a moment to align the photos. The easiest way to make sure your photos are properly aligned is to put your camera on a tripod and that will make it very simple for Photoshop to get those pictures to line up correctly. So once that happens, um, it's going to open a screen like this. You're going to have a place over here that says source and one that's going to be final. So what you want to do is drag a picture up here. This is going to be the background and then everything else you're going to take the elements you want out of this one and put it into this one. It's very simple. The pencil tool right here is going to be what you use and each of these pictures down at the bottom is color coded. So here I'm going to take the blue one. I'm just going to draw around myself right here. You don't have to be exact. Photoshop is very advanced and they'll know what to put in. There we go. I'm going to do that again for all of the other ones. and just keep doing this for each one that you want to put in the picture. So I'm going to put myself there. Now you notice also that this picture has a garage door that's open and this one is closed. Um, I went into the house in the middle and I opened that and I also moved the tripod a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this so that we have the closed garage door. Everything is put together but you see that this doesn't properly line so what you need to do after you click done is Photoshop is going to put this together. You're going to see an image that looks like this and then because I didn't have the images perfectly aligned we'll just need to crop it a little bit. But that's all there is to it. It's basically a very simple process that anybody can do and you'll come up with a great fun looking photo. You can use it for all kinds of creative ways of coming up with ways to clone yourself. And that's it. Thanks for watching.